Shalom. Call her Lord Yahweh by Shana Shai by Hasham Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the bishops, the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens. And to the Aquas that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you another lesson in truth. We're going to do a reading of uh, Romans, the first chapter, just to prove that the book of Romans was wrote to the Israelites in Rome and not, you know, to the who were in a Gentile state of mind, who were considered Gentiles um, by the Israelites who kept the laws um, and, and kept their heritage. The ones that were scattered among the Greeks and, you know, uh, they weren't uh, welcomed by their own people. And this is something that, you know, Christianity does not acknowledge this truth, even though it's it's clear in, in the pages of the Bible. All right. So because when you when we well, we're just going to start reading the Bible will see it better than I can. So we're just going to start with the uh, with uh, with verse one. But just know this, the Bible clearly tells you if you're reading and you have reading comprehensions that there are two sets of Gentiles. You have the Gentiles, which are the, the natural heathen nations, the other people. Heathen just means, you know, heathen doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a bad word, you know, or, or a negative word. Just like the word uh, nigger was in the beginning. It just was a description of someone who had dark flesh. It didn't have the negative connotation that comes with it now same thing with the word heathen all right a heathen could be when you said someone was a heathen it just simply meant they're the other people it didn't mean that they were you know you know just just some piece of shit or something like that it didn't necessarily mean that all right <clears throat> so just just to have that understanding but this is romans 1 and 1 and it says paul uh a servant of yahweh shah hamashiach called to be an apostle separated unto the, uh, the, the gospel of God, which he had promised to for by the prophets in the Holy Scripture. So if Paul was not a Roman citizen, why, you know, the prophets never promised anything to the heathen. All right. Because, you know, they try to teach that, you know, when it says that the Lord, you know, he when the Jews, you know, turn their back, they open it up to the Gentiles. Well, once again, which set of Gentiles are we talking about? All right. And it says concerning his son, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, our Lord. So the other nations were not concerned or had, you know, with our Lord and our Lord had no concern with the other nations. He was all about his people. All right. That's why it tells you that in, in, Math, in Matthew, you know, I think it's uh, Matthew 15, 24, 10 and 24. Um, someone could put that on the comment board. You know what I'm talking about? He said he, he came not but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But it says, but concerning his son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. So, you know what? Let's shoot over to. Um, and that was verse three. So let's shoot over to uh, uh, Romans. The, uh, the ninth chapter. I'm going to keep that one on the screen and I'll just use. My actual Bible here in front of me. This is Romans 9. And. Uh, and 1. And it says. And it reads. I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. All right. So Paul is physically through blood. All right. Which means if you through blood, that means through your father, not your mother. All right. Uh, um, related to the Israelites. And so is who the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Christ and Jesus. All right. <clears throat> it's, and it says. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. All right. Who are Israelites 
to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service and the promises, whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh Hamashiach came, who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. So the Lord, uh, his kinsmen were the Israelites according to the flesh, the adoption being brought back pertaineth to them. They were given the covenants and the law and the glory. All right. They are the fathers and the reason why who the world calls Christ came. This 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 Romans 9, 1 through 5 is literally like some of the most powerful scriptures in the New Testament because it makes it very clear that the Lord came for Israel and not everybody. Beyond clear. All right. And it's funny, my whole life in those churches, those scriptures were never written. So I got a precept of uh Second Samuel five and one and first Corinthians twelve and one, one through two. So let's get that. Let's get that first Corinthians. And that's Samuel. Then we'll go back to, to the first chapter. It's nice to actually break out your book. We get so comfortable, you know, uh, using these phones. But this is uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 1, and it reads, Now concerning the spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant, all right? Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols, even as you were led, even as you, even as you were led. So you were Gentiles. So how could you become an un and not be a Gentile anymore? All right. Well, when you come back into the fold, when you adopted, when you brought back to where you started from, they came back to the law, statutes and commandments. All right. The other precept was uh second Samuel five and one. I wrote that for a reason. So. Let's go see. And this is like one of my first Bibles from like 13 years ago. A lot of precepts in here. Uh, this is 2 Samuel 5 and 1 and it reads, Then came all the tribes of Israel to David and to Hebron and spake unto him, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. So once again, Everything is all about, you know, Israel. It's all about the 12 tribes, even in the New Testament. It's still about the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, which will probably be the name of this lesson. All right. And how they, you know, they try to get around that. Well, you can't. All right. So let's continue. We were at verse three. It says, um, now verse four, and it says, and declared to be the son of, of God with power according to the spirit of the holy holiness by the resurrection from the dead by whom we have received grace and and uh, apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name among whom among whom are ye also called of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach all right to all that be in Rome, beloved. All right, now you got to remember the Israelites were scattered to all nations. Okay, because when you read all nations, they say they, they you know they try to bring everybody in. That's they you know the Christians have this doctrine called the Romans way. All right, the Israelites got scattered among all the people, you know, and they ignore the uh, the Hellenization, which we're gonna touch on a portion of that in, in the Maccabees. Um, as I keep reading, because I got a precept here uh, uh, in the Maccabees. All right. But they, they, uh, you know, the Hellenization at 400 year of being uh, Hellenized by and following the Greek culture and being cut off from their Israelite heritage and living as Greeks for 400 years. And well, 400 years later, some of them think they're actually Greeks. All right. And then the ones that, uh, or they just accepted the Greek way. And then the ones who kept the law, says the commandments, completely turned their back and would not accept those who went about the Greek way. Those, that's the second set of Gentiles. All right. The Israelites that, that cleaved on to the Greek as fashion and the Israelites who, be, you know, completely forgot they were Israelites after 400 years of living as Greeks. How easy can that be? All right. Um. But that, let us continue. It says, um, 
verse 5, um, actually verse 6, among whom ye are also called of Yahweh Shahamashiach, to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints. All right? Grace unto you and peace uh, uh, from our Father, personal pronoun, and the Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach. All right? So let's go to uh, that. That goes right back to that Psalms 148 and 14. Who, 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 are, uh, who are the saints? The Israelites. They're the ones called to be saints, the separate, separate from all the other people. Okay. Matter of fact, let me go look at that again. That Psalms 148. That was at 148 and 14. Yep. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, as the people near unto him. Please ye be Yahweh. All right. So the saints belong to the heavenly father. They're the, those people who are called, who are separate. All right. Has nothing to do with the other nations. All right. Verse eight. First, I thank my power through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. <clears throat> for you all that your, their faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with the spirit, with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without ceasing, I make uh, mention of you always in prayers. All right. Make a request. If by any means now at length, I might have prosperous, uh, a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. So let me go to uh, first Corinthians now. All right. We go to First Corinthians um, eleven one and two. Let's go to First Corinthians. Um, and here and it reads: "Be ye followers of me, even as also, even I, Salakia, even as I also am." of Hamashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, we know who the brethren are, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them unto you. What ordinances? The ordinance of, 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 the, of the law, statutes, and commandments. See, that's another thing that Christianity teaches that the law was done away with. The Lord told you he came to fulfill the law, not end it. All right. The law doesn't save you, but the Lord is how, the law is how you serve the Lord. That's how you show your obedience. By keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. All right. If the law was done away with, that means that you can sleep with other men's wife. You can eat abominable foods. You can lie. See, you know, because they'll talk about the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is the shorthand, shorthand version of all 613 laws. All right. And the only one being done away with is the law of sacrifice because the Lord became the perfect sacrifice. That's the only one that got done away with because he done away with, he when he laid his life down. All right. When he laid his life down, he that was when that was done away with. But all the other laws, you can't lie. You know, you're not supposed to murder. You're not supposed to commit adultery. You're not supposed to call on other gods. All right. So any and and you and then it, so anyone teaching that uh uh that the law is done away with, you know that 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 organization that religion uh is a lie. Right, so let me move. How do I? There we go. Let's move up a little bit. So I'm gonna read to like 13. So I'm gonna eventually get this whole chapter, but do this in a couple. But it says, um, this is now I'm on uh, verse 11. It says, For I long to see you. That I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end that may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by mutual faith, both you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was left hereto, here here 
that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among the other Gentiles. All right. And I am adapted both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So our people were among all these heathens. They were scattered. I'm going to give you an example. Let's go to the book of First Maccabees. That's what I was talking about. Um, we're going to go to 1 Maccabees, the 10th chapter, um, around a 30-something verse on the account when Demetrius was trying to uh, befriend and bring the, the Israelites into his uh, favor, I mean, into his ranks, because he wanted them to, to war with him and for him. All right. Um, yeah, but this is for, for 10 and I think 33. Perfect. All right. And if and if Demetrius would do this, how much more would the heavenly father? All right. And it's also a testament of some of the hysterical thing, historical things of the Hellenization of the Israelites. But this is uh, first Maccabees 10 and 33. And it reads. Moreover, I freely set at liberty every one of the Jews well, Judeans, you know, they you know, they added that word in there. All right. Uh that were carried away captive out of the land of Judea into any part of my kingdom. And, and when they got carried away, what they were no longer, a lot of them were no longer called Judeans. All right. And it says in any part of my kingdom, and I will that all my officers remit in tributes, even, even of their cattle. So give them back. All right. Furthermore, that I will, at all feasts and Sabbaths and new moons and solemn days and three days before the feast and three days after the feast shall be all immunity and freedom for all the Judeans in my realm. All right. He was acknowledging their ways. They were coming back to their ways. Okay. And allow them to continue in their ways. And I will further there be an, an enrolled among the king's forces about 30,000 of the Judeans. I'm not going to say that other word unto whom uh, pay shall be given as belongeth to all the king forces. So he was showing them this favor so that they would be among his ranks, proving that the, the Israelites fought among the Greeks and the Romans. They were in their armies. All right. You would never know this. And this was part of that Hellenization. All right. And you would never know this watching old movies in Hollywood. You know, from the 19, the black and white movies in the, you know, the early 60s when color first came along because the Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has given had, had given the false. He doesn't do it anymore because, you know, uh, it's too much history known now. All right. You see more of the modern day movies when they're making movies about Europe and the Irish and the Scots and Rome and Britain. You know, now they will show you people of color. But if you go back 30, 40 years ago, they showed those movies and they showed you those movies as if there was no one of color around unless they were fighting some Africans or something. And that was a pure, that was a Rome and Greece were a completely mixed society. Mostly they was controlled by Edomites, by so-called white people. All right. But the majority of the people there were people of color. Remember the uh, Europe was full of dark people before Alexander of Macedon, you know, the so-called, you know. So-called white people today, Caucasians, before they uh, uh, took over Europe during the time of the Greeks and the Romans, uh, uh, Europe was Europa, all right, was a so-called dark woman, you know? They were all melanated people, the Etruscans, the Minoans, the actual Greeks, all right? So once again, this is just to point out that there, there are two sets of... Uh, you know, uh, of Gentiles. All right. And, and that it was always all about, you know, the Israelites, they were, and, you know, and it's really about the elect. All right. Which we'll get to that as we read into the second part of this, as we go forth from 15 on. All right. So with that, you know, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakar Kadash, Wa, Ababa, Ba, Kwam, Yasharala, Shalom.